when you come into the mountains of the South Island, when you when you leave a little place called Springfield and come over a pass that's called Porter's Pass, come into the place of the ski fields. You come into a place that's called the birthplace of the gods, the Kohanga, Kiritafiti, the ancient university of Waitaha. You're entering a place of the rainbows. This is the place of the Kurawaka people, people of the rainbow. So today I'd just love to share something of the story of the rainbow, the people of the rainbow and their place. Of course you can be following the rainbows from here all the way up to Arthur's Pass, from one pass to another pass in the great valley of the rainbows. When the elders brought me here into this place, to share the ancient knowledge. They said that two things should happen. So as we approach the, the birthplace of the gods, the great limestone tours reaching for the sky, they said, we have to see the rainbow colors running around the clouds, and there weren't many clouds. But when I looked up, I saw that there was that rainbow color, the wonderful, colours just running around the clouds. It was incredible. And I've seen it many times since. Once it came into my awareness, it's there, and I've shown others too. And they enjoy the rainbows running the edge of the clouds. So that was the first thing that they wanted to see in order to show that we were walking a true trail. We were walking into the place of knowledge and it would open to us. So the rainbow played its part. And we went on a few more kilometres and we came into Kuratafiti, the first school, the old university. And as we were climbing up one of the hills and into the marae of Hotamatua, the gardening people, the elder said to me, it has to snow, but it was a bright sky with just a few clouds about, and then out of nowhere began to snow, just lightly, just a little flurry of snow, just a few flakes drifting down. And I stopped and said, that is the second sign. The snow has come. It's a true trail. The knowledge is open to us. And from there, a song of Waita could be written. We'd made the journey, gone across the peace trail, 12 in all, to lift the tapu, that allowed the Ponamu to move the sacred stone and then we'd gone into the birthplace of the gods and the rainbow had come and the snow. It was now confirmed as a true trail. So the rainbow people, the Kuratafiti, the place of learning, and the rainbow people of this valley, the only valley, the elders said, in all of Aotearoa, New Zealand, where you could see all seven children of the rainbow play. We see lots of rainbows here. But you have to go to a very special place in this valley, and I've seen it twice. I've been to that place and seen the the subtlest rainbow of all at play, and she's called the Dawn Maiden. And it's in the early mist of morning, if you stand in the right place, you see her shifting in the mist of that morning. Wonderful, wonderful sight. But this is where the seven children of the rainbow play. Place of the Kurawaka people. 
And if we look at the rainbow again in a different light, then we come to an understanding that rainbows open the way for many things in life. They're stunning to see. And if we walk with an awareness of the magic of the rainbow, its bright colours, its fabulous, fabulous radiance, we can come to see that in the ancient times this was a marker for the opening of the trails of different kinds. Further up this valley of the rainbow, there's a place where you stand and you look across to a ridge, a high ridge. It's beside a stream and you're looking across the great river called the Waimakariri. And that's where the elders waited until the day a tower rainbow cast its wonderful light across that ridge, across that hill that mountain side and that opened the way for the trails of the stone, the Ponemu, for that season. When the Rakai Hotu made his great journeys through the South Island, joining the sources of the rivers to the stars with Karakia, with prayer, when he made that great journey to join the tops of the mountains to the stars. In all that time, as he moved on from place to place, he honoured the rainbow. He waited for the rainbow to open the way. It was a journey of the rainbow. And he journeyed into this place where he surely honoured the rainbow that had opened each part of that long, long journey to join this land to the universe beyond. Waitaha moved in a huge world of mind and spirit, a world that brought space and time together in a special way with huge minds with wondrous spirit, with the understanding that everything around us has meaning, has mana, is of spirit, is part of our journey, if we will. We too can be of the rainbow and all its colours and find in its power our truth, our potential and guidance into our journey and our future.